what is wedge setup? Well, I'm looking for the, 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 the fullback that's setting the wedge to be somewhere around 12 to 15 yards away from the returner and three yards to the return side unless the ball's outside of either hash, okay? Which will allow him, if the ball is coming this way, to set it vertical and hit it. If it's way out here, he can set it back inside and then hit it. And then it also sets our blocks, okay? All right, I don't wanna be too close. I don't wanna be too far away. If I'm too close, all right, the guys can run through the wedge, right? If I'm too far away, they can run around the wedge and still get there, okay? So the timing of this is critical, okay? As well as the setup. You know, you can't have a three-man wedge in college, all right, and, and, or the NFL. So you tell this guy to get a yard or two yards in front at the catch, jab step, and now you've created your what? Your three-man wedge, okay? All right, you tell the off return to get five by two yards away, all right? So away from the return side, okay? So he can pick up any trash on the backside as he leads our returner through the hole, okay? Does everybody got that? All right, so they're doing, that's all they're doing. They're not blocking anybody. They're just working on setting up the wedge, okay? So they do that, all right? I'm gonna give all our stuff. But there's, there's things in, the, in, in ball games, you know, when you look at it and you, and you see things, and you're like, okay, well, what, what broke down here, okay? Well, here's an example of, of the wedge being too far away. How, how far did I say? 12 to 15? I mean, he's at least 16 to 17 yards away from the wedge right now. That's the wedge setup. That's too far. So we go out and try to make these blocks, all right? And they're engaging the blocks, and it's not boom, boom. It's timing. Right as they're hitting those guys, the returner should be doing what? Going right by them, okay? All right? So that's what we're looking for here. And because we're so far away, we're able to make contact. The guy throws us down and still able to get to the returner. Wedge setup. That's day one. That's wedge setup. It's that simple, all right? And so... And, 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 and those are the things, you know, these are all new guys for me this year that, that played for me. Those are the things that I had to try to coach our guys out of because a year before this, I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't be stopped on kickoff return. You know, we had the same kick returner. We just had new guys up front because our guys are blocking well and there's holes, you know, hole after hole after hole after hole where guys start pooching to you and that's what you want, okay? That's what you want, all right? All uh, right. The other part of, of, of wedge setup is teaching your kick returners to hit it. I mean, they got to hit it right and they got to hit it hard. This is not a big return, but you guys, everybody that's watching this film right here would say, man, he really hit that thing. You know what I mean? I mean, he hit it downhill, and you can see it's right at the point of attack. You teach them where the points of attacks are. I mean, this is what you look for. This is when you know that you're doing something right, all right? Because, you know, it's just like power football, man. You got a double team. You got kickouts. There's the scene, everybody knows where it's going, and the returner's hitting at full speed. That's what you want, all right? You want everybody on the same page, knowing where the play, play is supposed to be going, and that's where you get, you know, hey, that, that ain't no big time return. That's a dirty return, but hey, you know what? It's solid, you know what I mean? It's a solid return out across the 30 yard line, and here we go, okay? Uh, I can't remember what this one was. All right, so we'll go on. Our kick return and missed the cut. We don't need to talk about that, all right? And, and here's just another, Sidebar, you know, okay, again, returner hitting it hard. These guys lose some guys. There's guys falling down, talking about the coverage unit. All right, there's guys running into each other because they think it's coming over here, and then all of a sudden we're going that way, so they don't react. But this guy still knows where the hole is, so he finds it and runs right by that guy. You know what I mean? So, you, you, you know, those are big, big plays. You know, you guys see, you know, you, all you guys from around here, you saw this play. Now you see it from a different perspective, and you're like, well, shoot, man, that was, you know, yeah, it, it, it's, it's luck, you know. But at the end of the day, you get enough guys doing things right, and then this is the type of stuff that happens when everybody understands your scheme. It's just a hole this big, and all of a sudden now it's one-on-one -on -one with the kicker. So, 